going on everybody? How you doing? So the last test I ran with this iLife A10 robot vacuum, it made me want to do this test because of the simple function in the app that allows you to slow down the side brush. So I really wanted to see how much better that does when cleaning on hardwood floors. So I set up a little area with just some white rice and we're going to send this guy out at 100% side brush speed which would be just the standard setting basically for all the other robot vacuums because being able to select your side brush speed is extremely rare i can't even think of another robot that for sure has that so that's why i want to do this test so we're going to send this guy out i just threw down some white rice all over the hardwood we're going to send it to clean just this area and then we're going to compare when it's done with this area on the highest speed, I'm gonna, then I'm gonna bump it down all the way to about a five or 10% of the standard speed and see the difference. And I'm gonna try to put down the exact amount of rice, that way it's a fair test. And then we'll see the before and after. I think with slowing it down, it might do this job perfectly. And I think this first test at 100%, I think we're gonna see rice all over the place still. So hopefully you guys enjoy this test. It should be a pretty quick video. I'm gonna send this guy out. So we'll watch this guy go a couple times to give you an idea of how much it's flicking it. And then I'll show you the results after it's done. And then we'll do the same exact test with it on about five or 10% speed. We'll just do 5%, that'll really slow it down. As you can see, it flicks it quite a bit. way too much and this is the problem with some of these robots the m7 pro by Procenic did this the neobot nomo pretty much all of them flick around this much rice and see how it's now in the path that it already went it will not know to go back on this path because it already cleaned it See how it's flicking all of it right in the path that it already cleaned? So that should all be there at the end of this test, unless this has it built into where it does an edge cleaning before it's done. But this is gonna look horrible by the time it's done. And that's 100% because of that side brush speed. The robot's a good robot. All right, so I'm gonna let this finish. As soon as it's done, I'll show you the mess, and then I'll add more to the mess, and then we'll do the slow speed and compare the differences, which should be night and day difference. It should be huge. So if you're new, please do me a huge favor, like this video and subscribe. I'm almost at 10,000 subscribers, like probably tonight, and it's going to be awesome. I'm going to do two robot giveaway, and then I have a unboxing coming very soon, probably tomorrow of a robot that I'm very excited to try and that not many people have had at all. So stay tuned for that as well. All right, I'll be back when it's done. All right guys, it is done and as predicted, it looks absolutely horrible. This is very common though for pretty much all robot vacuums on hardwood floors that have a really quick spinning brush. So I'm gonna go ahead and empty its contents back on this floor, therefore having the same amount of rice. And we're gonna do the same test on 5%, and I think it's gonna be a drastic difference. All right, I have reset. Let's go ahead and lower this guy to 5%. Side brush speed. Save. You can see it's at five. Now we're gonna send it back to the same exact location. C and go clean. Let me show you once again the mess. 
very similar to the first test, the same exact amount of rice because I emptied its bin from what it just cleaned up. See how it's flicking it directly in front of it? Huge difference. this guy finish and as soon as it's done I'll show you the results and then we'll see just how much better slowing down the speed works all right it is done at 5% speed and even though it's much better than it was at 100% it's still left much 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 more than I expected it to so that's kind of or is very disappointing I really thought this was going to be cleaned up much better than it is. Some of my more superior robots would have had this looking so much better, and that's without even messing with their side brush speed. One of those being, of course, the Roomba S9 Plus, which is, of course is much, much more money. And then I still have to say the Roborock S5 is still the best LiDAR-based robot on the market, I'd say. So, definitely disappointed. I did not expect this much of a mess. It's amazing the differences between these robot vacuums. You think they'd all be the same. They're all pretty much built very similar, but they really do clean differently. All right, guys. So, to conclude this video, the slowing down definitely helps, but it's still a major problem with almost all the other robot vacuums on hardwood. The Neobot Nomo would have been probably just as bad. The Persenic M7 Pro was probably just as bad. So I'm not faulting this iLife for that job it did. It's just how bad most of the robots are on hardwood floor. So still going to do this uh, stress test next. Probably going to set that up as soon as this video is over. So that'll be next after this one. And then I'll do the whole floor plan test. We'll see how well it does with that. And then we'll do a bunch of other tests. Let me know in the comments what else you'd like to see with this robot. Once again, this is the iLife A10. Hope you enjoyed that video. Have an awesome day, and I'll see you in the next one.